Pass to Jefferson. Back to Thornton. Collier outside. There's Agumawale. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Despite standing 5'8", Ogubanwale wanting it more, not to be denied inside. Looking at Arike Agumawale, the first thing that jumps out at you is the score. He's just able to get it done in so many different ways. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Agumawale. Sinks that one from the post. Just like all the best Mariah guards, Jefferson. the elite guards in the world, Arike Ogumanwale finds ways to score inside. And what I love about Ogumanwale is she knows her role. She understands her team relies on her to get buckets. She's so good at letting the game come to her. Tries her best to take those high percentage shots. Just a, a savvy offensive player. Now here's Collier. Jefferson outside. Agun Mawale. The shot is good. And so is her shooting tonight. Three for four. Not quitting on the play. Arike loves finding ways to finish on aggressive coverage. Right outside. Fouls. Covered by Collier. For three. Kayla McBride. And that comes off the assist by Sylvia Fowles. Look, I'm not sure who was supposed to pick her up, but someone's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving her that wide open. Pass to Collier. Outside of Gumawale. Here's Jefferson. Puts it up from 12. Mariah and Dallas Jefferson. again with the bucket. From and the understanding Enrique possesses just has a feel for when someone on her team is open. Now McBride, back to Clarendon. The three ball, and the link is another three. Boy, not too much respect shown to her by the defenders. The wings trail. Jefferson with it. Outside of Gumawale. Drops in the tray. Love the competitive mindset from a Gumawale. Anything you can do, I can do better. Back to Clarendon. Now here's Collier. Now Dantas. From the arc. And it's Collier with the rebound. Jefferson. From deep. Gets it back. Out of bounds. It'll be Link's ball. Link's ball. The Link's trailing. Hey, yo, I'm here. Here's Clarendon. For three, Kayla McBride hits the three-point bomb. These two teams continue to trade punches back and forth like heavyweight fighters. The momentum swings are impossible to keep track of. The energy in this building just keeps changing. It's been such a crazy game. Now here is Thornton. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Here's Collier. One up, one down. Two points with our first shot in this game. It's going to take more than that to throw Collier off. That's a strong presence from Charlie down low. Back to the right wing. Collier right side. McBride outside. Dantas. Just five on the clock. Here's Clarendon. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. She's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting that ball to the rim. Pasto Gumbawale. Collier covered by fouls. Pulls up on the elbow and misses it off the right side of the rim. The Lynx leading. Down low. Dantas. 
That ball is great as two points. Right. Great assertive inside play from Dantas. Gets right where she wanted to be and scores. A drive by Mariah Jefferson. And that Sato one's Sato good. Savoli. Assisted by the bullseye with Mariah that assist. Jefferson. Nice delivery into the lane. Collier outside. Pass to fouls. And that's going to be a travel. Wings ball. No wing is making a Dallas. switch here. And it's the wings ball. Trailing by two. Jefferson outside. Stolen by foul. Wings and foul. that's a foul called on Jefferson. Jefferson. That is her first foul first of the game. Team foul. Yeah, close, but she didn't Checking get on down Dallas. quickly enough. Tight and as check. quick as players are at this level, your anticipation has to be perfect defensively to draw the charge. It, it, you're right. It's so hard. And here's Powers. Pass to Dangerfield. Now a Chanwa. Defended by Harrison. Both loose. Agumba Wale with the steal. To the inside. Collier. He can't get it to go. The links go the other way with it. McBride with the ball. Picked up by Agumba Wale. Dangerfield outside. Inside. It's good. And she makes her first shot of the game. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Pass to Agumba Wale. It's in, and she's a very efficient five for six on the game. This quarter has brought out the best in her, and even though they're still trailing, she has been impossible to contain. Now here's Powers. She's been patient so far, and nothing yet on the scoreboard. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the triple. The rebound by the Wings. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Guarded by Dangerfield. Pass to Harris. Argun Bawale. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Dangerfield outside. To the paint. Side of Chanwa. Right outside. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. So it's Dallas now. Trailing by two. Just four now all even. Assisted. Three consecutive field Harris. goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Now here's Powers. Achanwa, and she gets the bucket. The athleticism from Achanwa there pushes past the contact and Two finishes minutes strong. In the first. Two minutes. Outside Agumba Wale. Pass to Harris. Thornton. Up top Agumba Wale. And it's rebounded by Sylvia Fowles. Now here's McBride. Six points for her. And there's Wings the whistle. Foul. That goes on Harrison. Isabel. That's Harrison. her first foul. Second team foul. In for the Wings. On defense, Dallas. And the shot goes down. Passing is exactly the common card, but Achanwa doesn't miss open players. Good odds. 
Pass to Collier. And here's Harrison. Harris, guarded by Dangerfield. Now here's Harris. Tight defense on her. Four on the clock. Shoots over Dangerfield. Harris can't hit. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Here's Bannum. Back to Dangerfield. Fires the three. Rebounded by Collier. Dallas trailing here. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got a lock in. They need a basket just to regain some momentum. Now here's Gray. Second shot opportunity. And Sorry, Collier will the layup. Here's Dangerfield. To the middle. Fouls down low. Down and she stamps there in the lane. The ball goes to Three second call. Checking in for Dallas. Bella Allery. Play, still a close game. Links ahead, leading by just two. And we'll bring you the start of quarter two when we return. A close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And from what we've seen from the links, what's your take so far? I think the roof is up, but get some people some umbrellas. It has been raining in here. A lot of threes. Yeah, you know, I'm a huge umbrella guy, but hey, when it rains, it pours. And they haven't let up from beyond the arc. Dallas with the ball, trailing by two. Down low. Harrison in the post, defended by Achanwa. Got a piece of it, stolen by Natalie Achanwa. Inside, here's Powers, and she uses the glass on the layers. Laser focus from Powers, the bump not affecting her shot. Pass to Mabry. It's good from long range. You know what? I don't care how far from the bucket she is. You've got to have a defender on her. She's just too good from long range. Now here's a Chanwa. Dangerfield with it. The rebound by Harris. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. Marina Mabry on the wing. Back to Harrison. And that puts them in the lead. Harrison. Great footwork by Harrison. So active. A very nice pick and roll partner who will cut hard. Powers with it. Pass to Fouls. Dangerfield outside. Bannum. Just five to shoot. To the middle. Fouls. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. How many difficult shots has Fouls made in her career? Just an incredible spirit about her game. Not to be denied. Now here's Mabry. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Sylvia Fowles. Achanwa. Good. That's the easiest fast break opportunity an offense gets. Off a of steal. Exactly. The defense with no chance to get back. Here's Harris. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. at six. Harrison no good. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. To the right side. Bannum. The three-pointer no good. 
now here's Mabry. She's guarded closely. Rejected by Nathalie Achanla. Strong awareness from Achanla. Sees what the opponent is doing and reacts accordingly. Outside powers. Pass to fouls. Sylvia fouls drawing the double team. Shoots the three. They get it back. It's good on the putback. What a relentless rebounder. Fouls work so hard to keep possessions alive. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. they got to score. Now here's Mabry. The Mabry, shot's Mabry. good on the assist by assist Bella Allery. Bella That's what Allery. I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. To the wing, right side. Fouls. Gray defending. Fouls. That's good. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Now here's Harris. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Harrison no good. The Lynx leading. High post, Sylvia Fowles. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Pass to Dangerfield. Good on the three-point shot. Zero hesitation for Dangerfield playing off the ball. Confident in her shot. And it's the Wings ball. The 2020 Rookie of the Year. Crystal Dangerfield was the lowest draft selection to ever win the award. Here's Gray. Sylvia fouls with a defensive effort. Pass to Dangerfield. Here's Bannum. Mabry covering. Shot clock at five. Outside of Chandler. Great. Achanwa can't get it to go. Selected in the second round, Dangerfield also led her team in scoring as a rookie, but her role changed in her second season. That's right. Dangerfield moved to the Alicia bench early Ray. on in the season. And while that would be maybe Time starting to tough for some, Dangerfield has accepted the role. She thrived in that six women role, and that speaks to her maturity, showing that she could be effective starting to off the bench. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. A team player Bella, with Allery. underrated passing skills, Allery does a good job of finding her open teammates. Pass to Collier. Over Thornton. That shot by Collier, no good. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Back to Gumbawale. Now Thornton. Sabali. She's guarded by Dantas. Here's Jefferson. Misses the three. Clarendon up top. She's covered by Jefferson. Pass to McBride. 
fouls. Good for the big time. Five shots. She remains perfect. A sound scorer like Fowles has to be able to score buckets through some contact. And really, she's as resilient as they come. Now here is Thornton. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Back to Jefferson. Oh! And so that one drops for her. Sylvia and Fowles. Thornton is such a smart player. Recognizes all the commitments from the defense and gets it to her open teammates. And in terms of perimeter defenders, who would you say is at the top of the league? Jasmine Thomas is as good as it gets. A tireless worker on the defensive end. She's been first team all defense a few times. And in terms of backcourt defenders, Ariel Atkins can really frustrate opponents. She plays with great fire, and her defense earned her spot on the team going to the games in Tokyo. Now Clarendon, she's got five. To the paint. Fouls. Yes, once again. And she remains perfect. Six attempts, six makes. Dallas trailing here. Jefferson outside. Thornton covered by Collier. Enrique Agumawale on the wing. Kicks it out to Saboli. Over McBride. The shot comes out. And Minnesota the other way now. And here we go. Clarendon up top. Guarded by Savoli. Collier can't get it to go. The kick out to Agumbawale. Jefferson. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. He's guarded by Dantas. Here's Thornton. And that one goes long. And here are the links now. Seven point differential. And Fowles gets it to go. Well, this is where Fowles drives. She loves getting the ball down low, close to the hoop. Jefferson outside. Clarendon. Jefferson, no good. To the inside. Here's McBride. Lays it up and in. Top of the McBride assist. And the gun is in, but credit to Collier for the find. Her 6'2 height allows her to have a clean view of the court. Doesn't miss open teammates. Here's Jefferson. He's got seven. There's a Goomba Wale with the three. Arike, Sinks the Arike triple. Wale. I love three the points. way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. Their three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Now here's Clarendon. Five points in the game. That and shot wide. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's a lot of fun to watch. Ogunba Wale with it. And Bride covering. And here's Kayla Thornton from the arc. A rebound by Dantas. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Finding a way to score down low. Collier can score with her left and her right. Makes her very difficult to track and guard. Jefferson with it. For three. Nailed from three-point land. Jefferson. Her shooting has been so good today. She may have to take it upon herself to get her team out of this hole. Pass to Dantas. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Dantas with it. Sabali's there. Good work there as it goes. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. Now here's a Wale. 14 points for her. Gordon outside. And again! Kayla, it's Dallas Gordon. with a three. Three. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Dantas with it. Covered by Thornton. 
Pass to Clarendon. Now fouls. Shot clock at six. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Clarendon, no good. Outside, Agumawale. Back to Sabali. And Damira Santos with the block. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And here's Collier. Right outside. Let's go with a three. The rebound by the wings. From deep three-point range. So we conclude the first half. Links ahead. They're up by nine. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter after the break. the first half was very disciplined, very efficient. Her shot selection was consistently excellent. That's right. And uh, whether it's been from mid-range or in tight, she's taking only what the defense is giving her and not trying to do too much. Now the second half about to get started up again any moment. Now here's Agumba Wale. McBride covering. Jefferson outside. The second chance effort. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. She's got a great read of where that miss was going and that enabled her to be the first player to it and get the put back. And that one misses. 2021 was the historic 25th season of WNBA basketball, and the league did an outstanding job celebrating this great achievement. Yeah, the game between the Sparks and Liberty honoring the league's first ever game. Also, between those two teams, and that, that was awesome to see. Yeah, and I enjoyed the league announcing the 25 best players of the WNBA's first 25 years. Some current stars, some legends. The WNBA did a fantastic job honoring its history. Four of their last five makes came off a high-quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. Uh, they are having their way down low right now. Good on the triple. Arike Ogubanwale. Arike Ogubanwale is about as tough to cover as anyone. When she's hitting threes, it's a nightmare. Right wing. Pass to Collier. Shoots over Jefferson. Tries again. And the basket That's by Collier. They're doing a terrific job of getting the ball inside, attacking the paint. That's an area, and it's a key area on the court that they've controlled. Yeah, once they identified what an edge they had inside, they just continued to attack. Jefferson, nice D from Malaysia Clarendon. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. If she comes up with the deuce. Yeah, a steady scorer. McBride's demeanor has intensified as she's earned more and more respect around the league. Now here's Agumba Wale. He's got 17. And stolen by Clarendon. 
Inside. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Visa Collier for three. The three-pointer is on target. Zero fear. As soon as she gets the rock, Collier ready to fire. Now here's Jefferson. Clarendon covering. Pass to Kukawale. Collier with it. Here's Thornton. That's good. And Charlie Thornton. Collier with the assist. A little bit of physicality from Thornton. Getting her shot to go. Now Collier. Here's McBride. Got this. Fouls with it. Covered by Collier. Baseline J on the way. Here's McBride. Foul call that time on the way up. A retail of the New Orleans. First team foul. An unpredictable creator with the variety of moves. McBride drives from getting to the line. Kayla and this McBride. is her first free throw of the, the game. For two. This one falls. A unanimous selection to the WNBA all-rookie team. McBride made an immediate impact in this league. And good on the second, so she makes both. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Left side. Outside of Ukawale. And again, it's the wings from deep. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner. It's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Out to the left wing. Back to Collier. That's good, and it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. Now here's Jefferson. He's got 12. Kowale from long range. And again, it's Dallas with a three. She's made an impact with the three-point shot today. And guess what? That's another big one. Time yeah, and, and that's race. where she's been getting her points. And with a couple more out there, man, we've really got a ball game on our hands. Time called here. The Lynx decide to talk it over. Powers. Dangerfield outside. And the three ball is good. Run of the pick and roll. Dangerfield so tough to stop. He got that great burst. Now here's a Gubawale. Defense right on him. Here's Gray. Almost gets it to go. But instead. Second team foul. It's going to go on aerial powers. And Shooting last time we had a back-to-back -back champion, Gray. the Sparks in 01 and 02. 
Why do you think it's been so long since we've had a repeat winner? Great question, Blake. The physical and sure, mental sure. toll of a deep run is just a lot to handle in back-to-back -back seasons. Absolutely. Plus, I think the setup of the WNBA playoffs, the single elimination in five-game series rounds, they create more variance. So you'll see more upsets as opposed to other formats in basketball. But really, it makes it hard for a team to consistently dominate at the end of the year. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, in Gray's first season, she actually led all rookies in points scored per game, and she was simply effective right from the start. For three and a piece of Collier, they get it back. Shots good by Darcy. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Now here's Gray. Outside of Ugawale. The three ball. At the basket. Three. Impressive total. That brings three her points. to 10 of 14. Great quarter for her at the offensive end. Trying to will them back. Here's Dangerfield. She's got six. Here's Collier. Oh. It's hauled in by Harrison. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. And out of bounds, the no Leafs will take it. Minnesota ball. In for the Leafs, Tayasha Harris. The Lynx leading. To the middle. Shots good by Donovan. This defense is getting beaten up on the inside, guys, giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. Now here's Aller. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Gray. Down to five on the shot clock. The three. The shot, no good. And Minnesota the other way now. Down low. Dantas. The shot will not fall. Isabel Harrison with some nice D. Now here's Mabry. She's guarded by Dantas. And the basket by oh, yeah, Mabry. Mabry. Mixing it up inside. Mabry might be under six feet, but her toughness showing there. Pass to McBride. Collier. Now here's Dangerfield. No good on the triple. Mabry with it. And here's Harrison. Now here's Harris. Shoots over Dangerfield. They get the rebound. And Harris gets it to go. Soft touch around the rim. You don't want Harris to catch you out of position inside. Collier outside. To the paint. A nice shot by Power. You can always depend on her to put that lead pass right on the money. The wings trail. Harris with it. Gray outside. The teardrop Alicia falls in. Gray. Beautiful teardrop. Gray using the floater. A shot that frustrates Biggs in the lane. Now McBride. 17 points in the game. Count that as a seven field goal in 10 tries. She's shooting a nifty 70%. Well, you gotta like her shot selection today. She set the bar for the rest of the team. Now here's Harris. They trail by nine points. It's snatched up. Allery. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort.
You simply will not see Allery give up on plays. She creates second chance opportunities with effort and energy. Crystal Dangerfield from deep. The shot's good. Dangerfield Dangerfield. McBride making the play. That type of D, it's just not going to cut it. They got to get a hand in her face. Too good of a shooter. Pass to Mabry. From past the arc, hits it from three point Mabry. range. And Harris plays with such a strong basketball intellect, guys. Great job in finding the wide open teammate there. Outside powers. Dangerfield. And that one's good. Dangerfield. 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 Dangerfield, not at all. Letting it face it. And it's the wings ball. They trail by nine points. Dallas calls timeout. They've seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help. It's the front of player. They've got to try something. Jefferson left side, pass to Thornton, and Powers pulls it down. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to withstand. Collier oh, gets the bucket. He flipped the stick to half guy. Much more effective here in the second half. Here's Jefferson. 12 points for her. And there's a little throwback to Collier's game. You know, she works inside the arc, takes good shots, rebounds, and she's just a stone cold winner. Now here's Mabry. 11 point game. Pass to Jefferson. Six to shoot. Down low. Harrison gets Isabel the bucket. Harrison. Making use of her physical gifts. Harrison gets through, outworks the contact, and finishes strong. And we first saw Collier's influence in college. She led Connecticut to a Final Four in all four years she was there. Yeah, and then went on to win Rookie made the All-Star game, and has not let up. This is really just the beginning for her. Now here's Jefferson. Pass to Harrison. Thornton, Powers covering. Now Mabry. Three, Caleb Thornton. And again, it's Dallas for the three. A solid shooter from downtown. When Thornton gets daylight, she doesn't waste it. Dangerfield outside. McBride outside. Another three for Minnesota. Oh, some thick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, it sure didn't take him long to go and get those three points back. Thornton makes it off the glass. Well, nothing was going down for her in the first half, but since the break, she has been on target. McBride, Mabry covering. Pass to Dangerfield. Left side of Chama. The shot misses. Charlie Collier with some nice D. The drive by Mariah Jefferson. And she banks Mariah in the layup. Jefferson. So far going for more of an inside game here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. Here's Dangerfield. Second chance shot. And she takes it up and lays it in. Yeah, you know how a lot of people talk about flipping the switch? Well, her switch has definitely been flipped to on in this quarter, guys. I mean, just dominant scoring. 
to the inside. Here's Collier. Off target with the jump hook. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. The Lynx on top, up 10. And coming up as soon as we return from the break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. What a terrific, unselfish play. Could have tried to take it herself, but chose to set up her teammate. And what a setup it was. Yeah, and as a two guard, she's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see her orchestrating for her teammates instead. Hello, and thanks for joining us again. The fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. Outside Clarendon. Pass to Fouls. Dangerfield outside. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of players. She is really taking advantage of her opportunities in this half. I love her effort level. Thornton, McBride covering. Here's Collier. And she makes good on the layup. Yeah, and that's what they're hanging their hat Charlie on today, Paul fellas. Hard-nosed play on the low block. I love that. Me too. It's old-fashioned. Reminds me of when we played. We old-fashioned, pound-the-rock basketball, and it's working well. Now here's Fouls. Pass to McBride. That fall. That time. Fouls. Good speed by Fouls. She's normally more of a finisher, but she also has the awareness to find open teammates. And that Arike, one is good Arike. with the extra effort on the glass. They have a little extra hustle in this second half, doing much better in terms of second chance points. Pass to McBride. And the Lynx, another three. She's on her way to putting up a big three point total. Thornton, McBride covering. Back to Jefferson. No good there. Nice D from Malaysia Clarendon. Drive by Caleb McBride. It's good. You gotta do more than that to stop Kayla McBride. She's so good at working her way through contact. Pass to Sabalu. Thornton. Wale, guarded by Dangerfield. Udo Wale's double. Thornton outside. Five on the clock. Collier. Shoots over five. They shoot again. And two shots coming up at the line as she gets fouled on the shot. Shooting and the foul Dallas. goes against Minnesota. I like when Sabli attacks inside, showing no fear attacking the contact and getting the call. Shooting two. College, Satu Sabali showed a lot of promise as a top talent. Ended up going second overall in the 2020 draft. And so she hits both. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. They should jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. From downtown. Bantam, no good. So it's Dallas now. Jefferson outside. There's a Gumbawale. Here's Thornton. It's good. And with that basket, she is now 5 for 9. Persistence. It's one of the main components of Thornton's game, a motor that just keeps on going, turning the board into points. Outside Clarendon. Pick ride. Pass to fouls. That 
ball. Great approach by Gillen the drive. In the zone right now. Fouls his composer when scoring well. Uh, allows her to just consistently just keep piling them on. Jefferson, no good. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Here's Bannum, covered by Thornton. Pass to Clarendon. Now McBride, the three. Cans it from downtown. I love how McBride is unafraid of making mistakes. And Plays her game and then they'll win the result. Now here's a Kuba Wale. Oh, you're McBride covering. Here's a Kuba Wale. Ramsey drops in the layup. Off glass. This goes to. He's been a bright Charlie spot for Collier. them. Trying to will them to victory. Pass to McBride. Sean one. Now here's Clarendon. He's going for the alley-oop. And they get in the way. It looked like they were going for the alley-oop. Not to be. To the wing on the left. Here's Collier. Clarendon grabs the miss. And here's Bannum. Right outside. Pass to Fouls. Inside. Here's Bannum. Nice work on the Rachel boards, Bannum paying off points. with the basket. They've gotten very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Collier, McBride covering. And the basket Charlie by Collier. Collier. We know Collier has range, but Charlie is at her best when she operates down low, close in. Now a timeout call called Minnesota. by Minnesota. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good time now. You might as well talk to the section and kind of change that game plan as well. Let's see who's the last. By Jefferson. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Pass to Collier. Six on the shot clock. This might be a big, but you don't want to foul her. At about 80% from the line, Collier is a First good bench. Knock down all of these. Shooting for Minnesota. Nafisa Collier. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Selected sixth overall by Minnesota in 2019, Nafisa Collier had an incredible debut season, winning Rookie of the Year with the Lynx, named to the All-Star team, averaging 13 points per game. She hits the second from the line. And it's the wings ball. 15 point game. Outside of Wale. Buries it from three point range. She has been on a tear from three point range today. 
Pass to Collier. Dantas. Here's Clarendon. Let's it go from deep. Yes, and it's Demiris Dantas picking up the assist. The passing skills of Dantas, fantastic at noticing when the defense has left someone open. Jefferson with it. Clarendon covering. Outside, Agumawale. Jefferson outside. Shoots over Dantas. Jefferson, no good. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Now here's Clarendon. Pass to Fouls. Clarendon. Fouls with it. And it's good. With time running down on the shot clock. She is setting this place on fire. Her shooting has been off the charts. Jefferson outside. It's hauled in by the link. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she had this quarter so far. Knocked loose and stolen by Collier. And now the wings fast break. And here they go. And Damiris Dantas with the block. A frustrating quarter for her, especially with the team trailing. Fouls can't hit. So it's Dallas now. Trailing by 17. Thornton outside. And Clarendon over to help. Jefferson with it. Working on Dantas. Jefferson no good. It's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if she continues to miss those kinds of shots. Right outside. Over to the wing. To the middle. Bows. And the layup falls. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive. Oh, but the great offense is having. And that's just what they've shown tonight. And the wings call time here. McBride with a strong contribution so far in this one. She is on fire from beyond the arc. They're giving her way too much room, and she's making a pay. Jefferson, Clarendon covering. Arike Agumbawale on the wing. They need this. Bucket is good. Arike the pick and roll game is the bread and butter for Ogumbawale. Loves working on picks and finding little spaces to operate. Now here's Clarendon. Pass to Dantas. Back to Clarendon. Right outside. Dantas. That's exactly what they're going for in that position. Now here's Jefferson. And it's blocked by Asia Clarendon. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. 
to the paint. Here's Collier. Fouls with the rebound. Yeah, they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Right outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Fouls. And a kick out to McBride. Another three for Minnesota. With the smooth touch from outside, McBride's versatility leaves defenses pretty vulnerable. Now here is Thornton. Outside Agumawale. Back to Thornton. Just five on the clock. Another shot. Misses the baby hook. Now the Lynx with it. They have a 22 point lead and it's the most they've led by. Pass to Collier. Clarendon, guarded now by Agumawale. Right outside. And here's Collier. It's rebounded by Agumba Wale. Jefferson left side. That falls. Nice feed that time from Collier. From nice decision Charlie from Collier, Collier finding the wide open teammate. Clarendon with it. Collier outside. Pass to McBride. Outside Clarendon. Collier. Down low. The layup off target. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Agumo Wale. Minnesota grabs the miss. Now Clarendon. To the inside. And that one's good. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. Now Jefferson. Inside. Sabali. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. A mix of finesse and length gets Sabali the inside shot. Such a skillful player. So we see the Lynx taking the W here. The outcome of this one was never in doubt. They were really putting out a supreme effort, and it felt like once they had the significant lead, they were not going to let it go. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.